If you really want to step it up, you should put broken glass in your flashlight. Ooh. Are we live, Matt? <laughs> yeah, broken glass. Is it there? Is that live? Is it? <laughs> Episode number fourteen of the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast. They're coming right at you. They're coming right at you. And let me just start off by saying, <sighs> don't swear. <laughs> Can't, can't, can't. No, Clala la la. Clala la la. I wouldn't have sworn oh. if you didn't ask me not to. Oh, clearly. Yes, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say Clala la la. Oh fuck! Gonna... You ruined it. I was just. Can you do Clala la la? My ma. Clala la la. I want to hear Marty say one. Clala la la. <laughs> um, guys uh, feeling very shit today all right nearly cancelled it nearly woke up and thought no nah. but we've pushed through we even filmed a website video today with oh, a slingshot video that was now sucked the, now fever's high he's I've got so some sick. sort of cold he's so sick some and he's s- been going about his day so just bear with us. It's probably not going to be the high energy. But anyway, just sit back and re- enjoy the show, everyone, because we got some news. Kla la 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 and um, so this that's our <laughs> intro music now <laughs> okay right. back we don't really have much shit talk no what do we do on the weekend yeah it well I had a weekend of lying around eating bad food and just relaxing and let me tell you it was lovely but I am sick as a dog's breast breast foot now man <laughs> breast foot out now man I went for a rain walk with Amber have oh, you ever man, been on a rain walk? Fucking rain is so oh. annoying, Brown Town. Oh my god! You love it, Best don't you? Best walk I've ever had. You love the rain. You burrow underground and you build your little lairs and shit. In the muddy, soft dirt, it's easier on your fingernails. You can dig down further in a shorter amount of time. I did a city walk, like a wombat. We should fucking do a walk. Try together. and do an experiment. Let's go out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go out to the nightclubs. Remember, that's how easy it used to be. Ow. That's how easy it used to be. We'd be sitting around saying nothing and watching a game of Halo or something, and then yeah, all of a sudden, that. Call of Duty. And then we'd be like, "Should we go out tonight?" And then, nice. bang, we'd be out on the town destroying our bodies. Well, and like there'd always Sickness. be a couple of plants ripped out. Oh, we did some terrible oh. things. We were young and dumb. Well. We got arrested for that, but that's what you guys did. I remember Henry in the <laughs> middle of the valley oh. pulling plants out and throwing them down Chinatown. <laughs> oh, and running around. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have look, memories look. of him. What were we just talking about? Oh know. yeah, we would we'd go out. But rain don't you walk. think, Matt? He looks like yeah. I was going on a rain walk with Amber. It was very good. Don't you think that Marty looks like Hobart? I don't know who Hobart is. No, it's just, his it name looks like is... my name is Hobart. Don't you get that? <laughs> as in the Tasmanian Hobart? No, as in yeah, the name. The capital. <laughs> yeah, the name. <laughs> How beautiful is that? For it everyone listening like on Spotify, I look like I'm dressed like I should be called Hobart. That's what Michael is saying. <laughs> it's beautiful. And is that what you German wore? When green was... and shit. Is it that looks that like very rainforest. Came to this is a prison? fucking shit, shit talk, man. Let's put our, put our minds at rest and get into the sponsors. Our first, very first sponsor. Oh, Manscaped. Are you a fucking hairy, dirty, single piece of shit in his mid to late 30s who can't fucking find a girlfriend? If you answered yes to that, then go to manscaped.com because they've got all the tools that you need to make yourself pass as a 5 out of 10 instead of your ungroomed 2 out of 10 self. <laughs> Once you buy the stuff, you use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off, okay? And then you go out into the world and you find yourself a 5 or a 6 or a 7. Don't shoot too high though because that area is littered with disappointment. We need to stay where we can, okay? So maybe a 7, look, maybe an 8, a tops with the Manscaped products, but don't shoot too high, all right? Use Manscaped, 
and then aim above what you are, but let's not get ridiculous. Not heaps. 20% off manscaped.com. They will make you a better man. And do you want to be a better man? Women use it too. Bullshit. Yep. There you go. That's opened a whole new paragraph of doors. Now we're walking down a book. And now that we have women and men all shaving their breasts. You can get hair there. Have you seen that before? Yuck. Hairy breasts. <laughs> if anyone out there has seen hairy, hairy breasts. breasts, send a picture of them to Matt Brown 1111's Instagram. He wants to see hairy breasts. Why? Only if they're hairy, please. Do you have hairs on yours? No. Nah. I have not, a few. Do you not have any chest hair? I have none, I don't think. What do you Hobart. shave? <laughs> His name is Hobart. <laughs> Anyway, that's Manscaped, right? <laughs> Fully actual 20 is the discount code. Now our time for our number one sponsor and the sponsor that makes the world turn around. <laughs> the University of Markle, right? Oh. Where we post 30 to 40 minute videos weekly. It's got extended versions of all of our pranks and behind the scenes shit. Plus one video that we don't dare post to social media. It's so fucked up. There's so much pain, blood, gore and fucked up shit on there. You won't even want to look at yourself in the mirror. You'll be so filled with shame. Why don't you have a look for free at the content and see what you think about it. 21 day free trial. Okay. You can watch all 200 videos probably in that time space. And then you just get out of it. Okay. You cancel without paying any money. But if you like the content, then I highly suggest you stay because, man, we've got a little community going and we speak to everyone in the Facebook group. Yeah, they are good people. We have some good times. Even Holy Matt shit. joins in. They make my day sometimes. Even Matt Brown talks to them sometimes, usually the females. Yeah, the really, really pretty females. Mm. I talk to the guys too. <laughs> yeah, well, there, yeah, there was a boy. Okay. There was a boy okay, once. Okay, let's talk about it. But what else has <laughs> happened? I chatted with Ethan. Matt got a my, my date from last week. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he's actually a, a bit of a legend. Yeah, I fucking told you, dude. Yeah. See, you fucking blew him off far too quickly. Have or you fucked him yet? <laughs> nah, but he looks like Richard Ramirez, which scares me. What's that mean? He's a serial killer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's naughty. <laughs> so there you go. Well, are you, should you, like, should we, next time we go out for dinner and shit, should we bring him along? Might not be as awkward. We'll go bowling. Nah. Double date. Us two and you and Ethan. No, Holy shit. And we'll just act like bros. You don't even have to kiss him. You know, you've ruined it. <laughs> and if the if it's comfortable towards the end, you've then ruined, maybe. Yeah, you've ruined it. You've ruined if it. you want, yeah, you can like- We were on. working towards something special and now you've just ruined it. Now, no, now I don't want anything. Cameron, he would. he's a good it's guy. Actually, he? His name's not Cameron. His name's Ethan. Same. It is the same thing. It's exactly the <laughs> yeah, same okay, name. Yeah, if you write yeah. it down on a piece of paper, it's yeah, word it for word. Like, it is. Looks word exactly for word, the it's the same, same word. <laughs> so, yeah, Cameron can come. We'll act cool. And then at the end, me and Marty will kiss to sort of make it okay for you guys to feel like it's fine. <laughs> no, I reckon it'd be we fun. We can play spin the bottle, but it's just pecking on the lips. Yeah, and like- Just to get us all comfortable. And he gets to help you bowl. Like he sort of stands behind you and pushes your hand so you bowl. And oh, I'm glad you said that. Controls a shot, then you control one of his I, um, shots. I went bowling with Greg. Oh, bullshit. Like oh my father. God, my, I've got my, news. I, I wanted to save this for the dad. podcast. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So I've Just got news it. about your dad too. Um, yeah, I went bowling with uh, my dad, Greg. I saw him at the supermarket like last Fuck week off you saw my dad. I had a conversation with You're his lying. father. You're lying. No, seriously. You seriously. liar. We were at Bilo. You don't even know what he looks like. Why would he be at Bilo? That's some low economic piece of shit. <laughs> oh. Fucking Sorry place. To He's upper there. class Woolworths. Well, there is no such thing as Bilo anymore. So I tested so, you yeah. and you know. You passed. But yeah, I didn't see your dad, but I wish I but did. He will. I will Fuck, find I was going to surprise you with something with him, but now, no. I want more Greg shit. I'm no. going to hiss at your father when I see him. Matt will do meth as well, everyone. <laughs> uh, Matt will do meth for $1,000. I'm not, not going to do he, meth. From that we point all, forward, we'll do it. he will be known as no. Matthew. So you don't feel like guilty like you're the only one. I'm not going to feel guilty milk. either way. I'm not going to do it. Just a bit so it doesn't really affect you that much. For grand, yeah, let, we yeah, keep talking about it. We got a few it. days that off. Maybe like, we, we keep maybe. we keep making him think about it. Let's just let's just leave it. Let leave it until the time is right. Until all the stars have aligned, and then we can spring it on him when he's had a few drinks or he's fucking on holidays and he's not in this environment. 
right? Yeah. Yep. I reckon, yeah, we'll get it. It is fair to say that Matt will do meth in less than a year. Matthew, Dude, it's not Matthew gonna Brown. Have you done meth before? Sort of. Accidentally. <laughs> we did can the ABBA. You, can you tell me that story? We have. I think we have. Times. Oh, have I saw the ringworm. Some people wanted to like us to retell some stories. So like maybe we can retell a story. I saw, also, saw also some, some people that didn't. Yeah. yeah that they oh, really? Want us to yeah. Go stories. Because right. they've um, just listen to a season one for all of our story time stories. All right, there's it's probably up to like we probably had like what twenty good stories. Guys, do us a favor if those episodes from season one are there, let us know in the comments because we're not sure what's been deleted and what's still there. And I ain't I ain't going around and looking, man. I can't be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that, baby. All right, let's move along. Okay, we're done sponsors. By the way, everyone. <laughs> Highly contagious. Yeah, he's we've been, been coughing seeing, on me all day. We've been seeing the comments flying up last week, 1.1K. That's fucking awesome. And I think I know why. If you aren't aware of this, we have a competition running where at the end of the season, we will pick one comment from the entire season. All right. Did we say two people? Two. The cow yeah, so will win. A- one from the best comment of the yeah, whole season. Thought, yeah, yeah. And one from random. Yeah, that's what Michael said. One from random? Okay. All right, so one, any comment. You could comment. It doesn't doesn't matter what you say. Shh. It doesn't matter what you say. You fucking full stop can win. All right, we're going to pick it random. So So just comment on this video, on any video from this season, and you could win $1,000, man. That's crazy. Which we'll announce in episode 40. Man, I'm so hard today. It's good. Michael? Did you see the new Oh, one? it's open now. Oh, yeah, see, yuck. Be careful. It's you open now. It. The old milk is open. Maybe get that away from the equipment. Okay. Dude, you need to fix that. It's going to leak everywhere and smell like shit. I think it's just going to nah, stay I've there. I've had enough. That's my table. <laughs> I want my table the way it, want, it, it is. Please? I want a bit of milk. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, comment and shit. All right? Comment if you've seen Empire Records. <laughs> I reckon this is our best episode we've ever done. All right. Smell the milk already. On this day. What are we doing for the prank call again? Oh, we've got a list. All right. We'll get to it. Also going to trial a new segment today, everyone. So. On this day in 1997, Justin Timberlake made a skin bomb. A skin bomb is just like a normal bomb with layers upon layers of skin wrapped around it. Then when it's detonated, the skin explodes out and slaps onto its surroundings. It's a weapon that just stuns its victims and doesn't kill them. He would harvest the skin from dead people and people whose skin was peeling off after sunburn. Justin still has the skin bomb sitting in his room. It's as big as a fridge and Justin says he uses it for protection against foxes and thieves. (laughs) That is actually really good. A, a skin bomb. So it's just like a little bomb, oh. like a softball sized bomb with huge amount of skin around it. Would you eat my skin, Matt? How's your cum bucket coming along, How bitch? It's too many questions. How much? I'd give you a grand, but you have to do meth first. <laughs> Me- so you have to smoke Wait, no, these meth- are two separate sheets of like sunburnt thigh skin like this you, long you won't be able to get sheets of meth- yeah I can yeah, yeah, he can it's I like a snake it. shed like skin alright well you, if you collect it and smoke this is meth gotta be, and skin nah, at the same it's gotta time. be separate you can't combine these things alright well 1500 for the both together No, nah, cause a I don't wanna do it while doing meth I don't wanna freak <laughs> myself out I'll do it on the podcast though cause everyone should be able to turn into some other drug completely mixing them together yeah Michael's skin is a whole new drug yeah, well, we can try it. All right, we got Michael's fucking Bible coming up. Dude. Yeah, Michael, do you want to read oh, it? Oh, yeah. Is Michael going to read it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll this, have a read of this one. Yeah, Michael's Michael writes them. It's time that he starts reading them. His voice needs to reach the hearts. Has Michael seen the new Obi-Wan Kenobi Obi trailer? trailer? Oh, dude. This will make sense now for what you said earlier. Yeah, go for it. Michael's okay. Bible. This is uh, Michael writes his daily teachings in a Bible and is reading an excerpt out of it for those who don't know what this is. It's like Buddha and shit like that. If having different points of view is important, open debate is critical. My ears hear hear. Klelelelele. <laughs> <laughs> (laughs) 
Fly la 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 le 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 le. Cows are the cutest animal in the world to me, and I fucking love them more than most things, except for Amber. Addition is adding, and Mortal Kombat movies are really shit. <laughs> they are up there with Marvel superhero bullshit. <sighs> back that track back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Track back up. Repeat it up. <laughs> when you are really laughing, you are in the actual moment. Not sorry. Sorry. Oh man. That's very that very one cool. really touched my heart. That was powerful. <laughs> I actually cried. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was some powerful shit. Cry then, man. Oh, man. Electric shock. Holy shit, that was electric. All right, should we have a quick bong break, everyone? And then we'll get into the b- fucking black book and then we do Bachelor Brown. So, Gary, do you want to be staying for these next two segments? I'll tell you where to come from did you oh. say you had to do the bachelor brown by five yeah i messaged her and it's all good at six okay what six o'clock all right next I really, I just, it's hard to work myself up for this segment. This segment, it's like seeing, seeing some of the most disgusting inner creations inside of the mind of the world's most predatory beast. Do you have PTSD? I'm getting it. Sorry. This is where I read out one of Matt Brown's written entries in the book where he records in great detail all of his sex throughout his entire life or his haves. This is Matt Brown's black book. Ooh. Ooh, hello. I already, I feel heavier. I feel like I'm being watched as I touch the book. Oh, like a spirit? Oh, man. It's like Like it's heavy on me. You're carrying the victims. Uh, Here we go. Oh, there's weight on my chest. There's flour in the vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I start, um, if this is the first time hearing this, last week, um, so it happened that um, Matt Brown was caught uh, masturbating in public and he's been arrested. Okay? That's the latest. From fucking the rats? Having sex with the rats. Dude, people are not going to... Episode number 14. So this is... Have... Number 51. Uh, Spot, spot back. Yeah. Oh. I sat in silence in the back of the paddy wagon. The handcuffs were digging into my meaty wrists so deeply that my fingers were beating like ten hearts. This was one of the lowest points of my life, having just been rejected by the sexiest girl I'd ever dated, and then being caught by a bus full of kids violently threading street rats onto my vascular squirt tube until I ejaculated. My mind was racing at how I was going to get out of this one. I considered escaping, but realized that I would have to live the rest of my life as a fugitive. There may be more opportunities to escape, so I decided that for now, I would follow the legal process. We arrived at the watch house and I was uncuffed and thrown into a cell. I curled up in a tight ball in the corner of the jail, but kept one eye on the other inmates. I puffed my body up to appear much larger than I actually am, and if anyone got too close, I would flutter my gills at them. In the morning, I was put in front of a judge. For violent sexual acts in public, I'm setting bail at $10,000. If you cannot pay, you must remain in jail for seven days until your trial starts. I shit my nappy. I was in total shock. Things were going from bad to worse, and I wept and wept. 
<laughs> I was transported to prison and thrown in a cell. My cellmate was a small, quiet, thin man. He stayed on his bunk and never spoke or even made eye contact with me. As I sat on my bunk bed, I heard the chatter of the other inmates. I heard them talking about fresh meat and pink flesh and large steak and soft fat and baby men, so I knew they were going to pick on any new inmates, including myself. I knew what I had to do tomorrow. I had to establish myself as an alpha. A calmness flooded over me, and I molested myself. I squeezed my fruit and felt my warm, lumpy sack spread and bulge in my hand. Then I slowly drifted to sleep. I was woken by my cell doors opening. <clears throat> we formed a line and headed to the cafeteria for breakfast. I made sure to hang towards the back of the line. While I was waiting in line for the food, I scanned the inmates for the biggest, toughest-looking inmate. Then I saw him, sitting at the head of a table, huge, seven-foot man, bald with tattoos completely covering every square inch of his body. He had a scar across his face and muscles bulging. He was kind of hot, and I caught myself wondering how big his dick might be. I finally got my food and nervously looked up. Sweat beaded down my tits, and I, my breathing quickened. I slowly made my way towards the huge, hot inmate. I sat all the way down the other end of the table, trying to blend in as much as I could. After a few minutes of picking at my food and not making eye contact with anyone, I start sliding off my chair and going under the table. Success. I remained undetected and was completely under the table. I started crawling towards the other end of the table. I moved carefully and exactly like a cat. My body twisted and bent around the legs of the other inmates quickly and efficiently. I made it to the other end of the table and my target inmate was now directly in front of my face. I loosened my jaw and locked my eyes on his crotch. I prepared my hands and coiled my neck back so it was spring-loaded. Then bang! In one motion my hands ripped his pants and underwear down and my mouth shot forwards like a striking snake. His massive flaccid, flaccid, flaccid dick slides down my throat and his juicy plump balls fill my mouth. The inmate looks down in horror. We lock eyes for a split second. Then I bite down as hard as I can. It felt like slow motion. My teeth split through the cock skin and glide through the shaft flesh. My bottom row of teeth shoots up and enters his juicy ball bag and meets my upper row of teeth in the middle. I pull away with his severed junk still in my mouth. <laughs> The inmate shrieks in pain and grabs at his flat patch where his cock used to be. Huge amounts of blood sprayed out all over me and my skin absorbed it like a massive tampon. I stood explosively and broke through the table from underneath. I spat the cock and balls at the shrieking inmate and my head started spinning. I projectile vomited continuously while my head spun, covering every other inmate at the table. The inmate scattered, screaming at what they were seeing. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Did he take Run! Run! My head stopped spinning just as a fish smashed into my teeth. One of the other inmates had snuck up on me and King hit me. I fell back and blood started running down my face and throat immediately. I was dazed but started trying to stand. Suddenly, another inmate tackled me from behind and spear tackled me head first into the ground. He pinned me and started punching my head. I was losing consciousness so I managed to slip my pointer finger up his ass. The feeling shocked him and he jumped off of me. A security guard ran at me and I I pulled down my pants. I grabbed the security guard and flipped him around. I entered him from behind. I wanted the other inmates to see. I screamed with every pump. Even the other security guards stopped and one of them started throwing up. Mints burst through my sack dam and gushed into the security guard as I felt prongs from a taser shoot into my back. The electric shock stiffens me and I fall to the ground and I am swarmed. What a success. Surely now everyone will see that I am not to be messed with. King Brown! I scream as they take me away. <laughs> King Brown! Oh my... Oh, oh my god that you didn't see it being a security guard you thought it'd be like at least one of the inmates yeah. well i guess so he got to third base with that inmate by putting his <laughs> cock down his throat oh I that was one too. holy shit that's like a real big journey it seems like you've made your situation worse mr brown let's not talk about it because you obviously know what happened but yeah it's gonna get crazy isn't it well, I like how it's cool. It's cool to read them in order now. Yeah, I'm going to read them in order. 
Kim if, Brown. If um, I'll do it for a few and see what, how we fucking well, go. I mean, I will read them like that for a few, see how we go. And if it's shit, we'll just go back to the ran- – Matt, we'll, we'll go. I'll go back to randomly picking them out of his black book. King. Sh- shut up. Brown. Shut up. Oh, man. Very <sighs> good. I'm I'm not- I was genuinely like – that hurt my stomach at points. <laughs> really? Yeah. I thought it was a bit slow, that one, Matt. No, no that offense. One, when he was spinning around – Vomiting blood? What did you think about that one, Matt? It's my favorite part. Sorry. I was there. Yeah, but what did you think about the way you wrote that? It's very well written. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Very good grammar. Oh, God, baby. All right, well, let's move on to <sighs> Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. He's right behind you. He's always behind you. He's right fucking behind you. Turn around, there he is. Ah! 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 He's got you. He's got you now. Ah! Ah! And this is a segment where Michael and I hand select future partners, potential mates for Matt, and we set up a phone date with them. Matt has never met these people, Michael and I doing it, because Matt Brown is having such trouble finding a partner for life. Well, Matt will marry three he's by the end. He's fucking, he's nearly 40 years old not, or something. I'm he's 30 Mormon he's fucking, He's just turned he's to Mormon. He's just fucking, he's been single for 15 years or so. He's been single been for going like, to been, church. I've been he, single for like six months. And his choice in women has been far from up to scratch. So we're here to help, Matt. You're fucking welcome, cunt. You got christened recently. You are so welcome, cunt. Last week, I was not welcomed. You guys. All right, let's do this. Let's do baptized. this. Baptized. Hang on. This is. Tell them. Just... Let's just get it over and done with. What? Nothing. So. <sighs> okay. Is it a girl or a guy? It's a girl. What's her name? Robin. Well, I think oh, it's a girl. Oh, Robin. Robin. Picture was of a girl and Robin she... is a girl's name. She's awesome. All right, here we go. Everyone stay fresh. Why am I nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous too for you this time. Hello, is this Robin? Hello. <laughs> hey, Robin. Oh, you are on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. No way. And we have you way. sitting right here next to us. We have Michael and, of course, the very excited, the plump puffed up, excited red man that is Matthew Brown. And we're going to leave it to you guys. We're going to leave it to you guys to get to know each other a little bit. Yeah, you know, get to know each other, find out about each other's lives. Oh so God. I'll pass it to you, Robin. What do you want to ask him? Oh, my God. I'm starstruck. It's hard, isn't it? It puts you right on the spot. And- that was just crazy. <laughs> we are. We are wild. Come on, Robin. Matt. Say something, Matt. Kiss her. I thought Robin was asking me. Oh, something. my God. She's clearly struggling. You got to so help. Pick it up. Use initiative. Oh, she no. hang up. Be proactive. <laughs> oh, she lost hung Robin. Up. We've lost Robin. We've lost Robin. She thought oh, that we were she was like, at her. fuck this. Matt, you got to fucking talk more, man. I'm scared. Do you love her? Yeah. Sorry. It was just a bit like... <laughs> Sorry, it just kind of caught me off guard a little bit. Oh, I know, Robin. I know it's it's tricky. Just remember, if if you don't like anything that's happening, we can just we can just cut that. Don't swear. So, I'm, look, I'm well, not well, sure how, if I if I quite feel comfortable with with all the screaming and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Look, we're gonna settle it right down oh, she's now, saying, Robin. Like, such a bitch. I told you. <laughs> I told you your screaming isn't helping. Yeah, look, look, it's not for everyone. All right, I'm just trying to motivate At least you, Matt. Brown's a gentleman. All right, well, well, off you go, oh, Matt. Wow. Well, off okay. you go, Matt. You wanna you wanna carry the conversation? Off you go. Tell Thanks her. Robert. Come on. Hey, Ro- how hey, are you, Matt? Ask, ask oh. her about her. Hey, Robin, how are you? Oh, oh. I'm okay. It's been a busy day in the office. <laughs> it's been a busy day. Why has it been so busy? Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I don't>. <laughs> <laughs> How was your day? Oh. Uh, it was busy. I wish I could tell you about it. Where but are I you can't. from originally? I swear I've seen you before, like before this. You've, you've seen me. In person, I'm sure I have, yeah. Where are you from? Oh, in person. Melbourne originally, but now I live in Sydney. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe there's another Matt Brown. Maybe. I do quite a few trips with work to Brisbane and stuff like that, though. So, you know, I'm there. Next time I'm there, it's July. So it's still a bit away. But, you know, if we can get things going nice, then hopefully when I'm up there, we can catch up. 
he said to her, ha, la, 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 la. say something like that. <laughs> Come on. Are you guys like currently filming or is this like a pre recorded thing? No, no this, yeah, is this, this is this is this um, But we can cut things. Well it's not live. It's oh, uh, okay. I, just, yeah. I was just very again. shy and timid. I didn't again. know what to Matt. say. I was ah. very shy and ah. timid. I was just Yell <laughs> I don't worry. Yell at her. I'm blessing. I'm blessing in front of my, my girlfriend here as well. They they can't believe this. Yell out, bitch. Well, you're Say sitting bitch. there. You're sitting there bitch. with some girls. Michael, Say that. You're sitting there with a bunch of other girls. No, there's just two of my girlfriends here. I, I live with one of them, and the other one's just here having dinner. Tell I just I didn't know what time. Her. I'm not sure how I feel about the language, uh, Michael. Uh, dude, stop swearing, Matt. Sorry, that was Matt. Oh, really? It didn't sound like Matt. Stop fucking swearing, Matt. Matt, stop fucking swearing. We can get couples still penis, flicking Matt? around. How big is your penis? How big is your penis? She asked... Oh, man, she asked some sexy shit. She wants to know how big... What I'm happened? I can let her move in. Wait, wait, it's not no, Matt. How big is your penis, Matthew? Wait, wait, we can't... Like subway six inch? Are we looking? Hello? Oh, there we go. Hello. Oh, we got you, man. Back. All right. Tech. So sorry about that, Robin. Some technical issues. Really fucking irritating. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, sorry about that, Robin. All right, back to Matt Next Brown. Next time so it hangs up, please don't call me back if it hangs up again. Because I'm getting fucking over it. All right. This, like, this, is, this is this is the last say chance. Say something like, hot. Stand, say something hot, what you guys Matt. Do is like stand girls up and just just go around and, and just pound on young women and just just try and get them for your entertainment or something. Where's Matt? Matt <laughs> Fucking hell Matt so You should say sorry like Matt say sorry me now. I just feel Like I've been put on show Like this is just Some evil ploy To embarrass Little old Robin And I'm fucking over it Matt <laughs> Apologise Robin we are say so sorry, Matt. So, Matt can you please fucking No I'm done I'm out <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fuck you Robin yeah, Fuck you Fucking you. bitch Robin Oh Show Say it Fucking <laughs> 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 It's Jackson. Look. Is it's it? Jackson. I oh. had no clue. Oh, he had no clue that was Jackson. Yeah, wow. He did that very well. Oh, that was so fun. It wasn't, it wasn't until he started cracking the shit. So I was like, that's not a fucking chick. That is the best thing I've ever had to do in my life. And I've had heaps of moments. <laughs> oh, Jackson. You did Jackson. Very well. I thought, he, I thought you might have known at the beginning, but you didn't. Oh, my God. That was genuine. Dude, This that mm. saved the podcast. I can't. Um, we just made the best podcast ever. You could have right? kept that going if you didn't crack the shits. I was like, oh, hang yeah, on. But, but, yeah, oh, we should have hung up and been like, man, fuck that bitch. I didn't know how long you guys wanted to keep it going for. And then I was like, fucking, I was just going to try and test my limits. And after I got angry, I was going to start backtracking the story and talk about being like previously abused and shit. Dude, you, you did that I was so get well. really dark. <laughs> At, oh my god! <laughs> Very good. At the beginning, Very I was lucky. like, I, I fully forgot because he texted me before. I literally was in the middle of the gym just working out. Look, he's like, Marty's calling. I was like, Fuck. Oh, true. <laughs> Fuck. Well, thanks for taking the call. Oh, going to the gym. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very, Jack. Well, Very done. well done, Jackson. I can't believe we got Mr. Brown. <laughs> See you, dude. I'm very happy. That was so wonderful. Oh, he did that. Very, that he works. did that. Like, phew. Like. <laughs> He did that really well. It scares yeah, we me. We did a have bit. a girl, but we're like, fuck it. Jackson off replied to our story and we're like, fuck. That would yeah, be good. Well, me and him were good. flirting a little bit earlier today. So <laughs> There you go. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> thought, did you think that was a real girl? At the start, angry at us? No, no, no. At the start, I was like, oh, it's a real chick. And then as soon as like the, the sound started fucking up, um, I was like, and I could hear her going off. I was like, that's a fucking dude. <laughs> 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 I reckon it sounded very convincing. Yeah, was, at the start, I was totally oh, convinced. Oh, damn, but man. It's, Dude, that's crazy. Oh, baby. we've got so uh, Marty gotta, calls. We're going to call Lockie you've again be later. Careful. These buttons here, you hit these as you as, attack, as, as I was attacking, attacking me. So. And man, it could have been either of us. We just don't know. I know. All right. The new segment this week is called Lying to Lockie, everybody. I yeah. kind of wish that, <laughs> that that was a real chick going off. <laughs> I was ready to start being such a cunt. Matt. No, you were in love. You're a lovely gentleman. Thank you. Dude, Jackson but is pretty hot. If there's any girls out there that want to have a phone date with Matt Brown, um, DM us the Marty and Michael account and we'll set that up for you, okay? He choose. We are flying the three, three top yeah. finalists at the end of the season into the studio. All expenses paid, travel trip. You can watch the season finale and just hang out with Matt. And the winner... 
gets a thousand dollars. No, 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 three way no, marriage no, with another girl. The winner gets a thousand dollars. No, don't tell me. You'll marry her. That's right. The second. Don't tell me. Right. Is going to have a thousand. That's right. We will pay you. No, to we date won't. Matt Brown. We're not going to do yes, that. Yes, that's what we're fucking doing. No one's you will have to marry money. him. No and one's the coming. Up. Look, we've got Nord. We, Nord Nord sponsors are starting to have a kid week. with him. Dude, you're, you're breaking someone's heart. You have to have a kid with one of them. No. Someone might actually like me. Yeah, and, exactly. And I that's won't what like we're them. For. And you're going to break their heart. No, it, look, if it doesn't work out, that's fine. But the we winner. give you both the opportunity. That's why you pick your favorite, the most likely that you'll get along with. And then we bring you two together. Do you understand? No. This is how you making do love works. works with the winner. We're like your Chinese parents. No. And it's an arranged marriage. No. Yes, that's it exactly is. exactly it. You can't. Do Wait, that? Yeah, why not trust us? To say we that? might. No, that's what happens. Isn't isn't it Indians that do that? As he said, hey, all you're, you're now getting way off. Topic. Anyway, you will marry who we pick. No, why? You can't force me to marry someone. No, of course not. But oh, we can put you him. in the perfect scenario can. with someone that you are incredibly compatible How with. How is it the perfect scenario? Just do math. A dating Explain environment. That. A dating environment where you both know what you're there for. You're there to get to know each other. You're there to get on a deeper level. You're there to connect physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and possibly fall in love. And That's man. what you're there for, Matt. <laughs> Moving on oh. to our next segment. Lying to Lachlan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're just going to see how this, what happens here. We're going to call Lachlan G- Gottfried. You all know who Lockie is. If you don't, he's just a mate of ours. He's like a fucking... He's, he's just a, a little man. legend. He's just a fucking little legend. And we're always fucking with him. And yeah, let's just see what happens. So what should we lie to him this week? Like I thought we'd call say that his dad's dead, but he'd believe straight away that that's a lie. Yeah, yeah. What's something sort of half believable? Um, it's well, raining. We'll tell him it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what what about like um, dude, please? Oh, he won't. You're gonna have to help me on this. Yeah, one. yeah, okay. believe me. All right, he's gonna know it's on the podcast. Look, you guys it's, it's we attempt to lie. To okay, we don't need to. Aliens is coming. Hello. Hey, dude, what's going on? So much, mate. What's going on? Um, we're, we're just planning uh, filming a fucking a camping weekend. Yep. Um, and we've, we're thinking about maybe this weekend or next weekend. Are you available? Do you want, do you want to come? It's probably just going to be for one night and it'll probably just be in the hinterlands. Um, what night is that? Um, what do you reckon, Michael? Will you go Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Should we go Saturday I night? I think I've got a... Um Jeremy's birthday on Saturday. All right, well, fucking Friday night then, cunt. Yeah, I can do Friday night. All right, perfect. Huh? All right, this... We're this Friday night. Have you been to Yamba, dude? Huh? Have you been to Yamba? No, where's Yamba? It's like... Uh, it's like bit, northern New South Wales. It's a bit of a drive. Like, it's like three hours but south. Like, but fucking they've got, amazing like, the best camp spots. rock cliffs. Like, you we, can jump we, off. We were, like, literally trying to plan to do a camping thing for a video. Yeah, that dude. Yeah, let's just get the fucking crew together and we'll bloody fill up the we'll fill up the four wheel drives and we'll fucking head to Yamba and we'll get a camp space and set up. They've got the is best. That where, uh, is that where the big lesbian went that one time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, got the right. best cliff jumping like in in like, the world in the no, Some in Australia. In the world. No, well, I'd say the it's world. like a, a like a, a flooded mine shaft <laughs> next to the beach. You'll love it, dude. It's so like, fun. How are we going for? You can. It's just, like a twelve just, meter drop. Ju- just one night so far, I reckon. Are, are you yeah. di- are you guys are you actually down yeah. to have have you guys got a tent? Um I've got yeah, I've got a sway. I've got I'll go down to BCF and buy like a fucking sick one. Okay. Yeah, you should definitely Uh, <laughs> uh what do you call it? Yeah, um I just I'm gonna rent an RV. Huh? I'm gonna rent an RV. Yeah, rent an RV then. Oh then dude, need- that'd be such a good idea. Yeah, we'll rent an rent an R V and that yeah, that'll make it easier, I reckon. So I got a I got a um hard birthday on Saturday. So I'll come back for that. I'm not going back. All right. Um, well, yeah. Well, do, should we change it to next weekend so we can stay there for two? Oh, nights? let's do next weekend. That's heaps better. All I'm right. Well, with all right. Well, perfect. Then we'll go. Well, next weekend, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Well, yeah. Next weekend is better because I um I move on Friday. Do you reckon your well, dad would be able to come, Lockie, just to create like that old guy sort of mentality? Um, I don't know. I can ask him. Dude, I'd love that. I miss him. <laughs> Dude, let's get fucking shitloads of pingers too. I reckon. No, oh, fuck. one night we'll do pingers. That'd be so funny, just pingers and cliff jumping. <laughs> oh Dude. my god! Oh, it does sound. I fun. wish we weren't lying now. Oh. 
So you're not actually going camping? No, no, we're Sorry, gotta, Lockie, it's a prank call. That was, <laughs> we got a new segment. It's not, it's not even a prank call. We just got a new segment that says lying, li- <laughs> lying to Lockie. Nothing. It's all called nothing, Lockie. <laughs> and you just got bamboozled, bitch. What's your reaction to that? I'm going to fucking Yamba next weekend. He <laughs> <laughs> still goes. Stay home in your miserable fucking house. I'm going camping. camping. <laughs> like maybe we should go camping soon. Yeah, yeah, maybe. We will. Yeah, I want to. Well, actually, we are going. So if you're down, it's happening. <laughs> all right, let's lock it in. All right, sweet. <laughs> all right, we'll we'll call you legitimately after this. All right, we'll yeah, just, book um, it though. Like, like actually, actually buy a tent and shit. Get an RV still, no matter what. I'll buy a tent and an RV. All right, I'll just drive the RV there. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Sorry. All right, see you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, it got better. Like, when he's like, oh yeah, it's gonna be sick. And then Jack's like, I'll buy a tent. Fill <laughs> their hope up for like a good time. And then it's not even real. No, no, oh. we're not coming. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let us know what lies you want us to tell Lockie. And like, we can just call it lying. We don't have to lie to just Lockie. Yeah. You know, we can, we can Let's change Let's do one up. to Greg. What just, should we do to Greg? Just comment lies and to who you think we should call. <laughs> Lockie's just texting me. I fucking love camping, you cunt. I was so excited for pingers and cliff jumping. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke his dream. Like, like that does sound perfect. And he's now like it's not happening. It does sound good. <laughs> it's so fucked up. When you're Jackson like got really going to Yamba. <laughs> yeah, we got two people in one. Yeah, we're going to Yamba. <laughs> that was fun. That anyway, was guys, time. on to some questions. Now, if you want us to answer your questions, just comment on the fully actual YouTube channel. We read out the questions with the most likes. So have a scroll through and like which questions do you want us to answer and comment all your questions. We'll answer as many as we can, baby. Sorry, man. Do, but- do you want to start with cow? But- yeah. Four questions, please. So before we begin the gen- the normal questions, we've got our cow segment. And right here, we have our high tech, very high production comment of the week board it's where digital. we where we stick all of the comments that have won the comment of the week so far this season. We cut them out and we stick them on the board, right? This is any comment could win cow, by the way. Any comment that we like. So just <laughs> comment random sh- shit shit. It is. It's I fucking love reading that comment section. It's full of hilarious shit because of people trying to get the cow and just people saying Very random. weird shit. So comment comment your questions and comment for the cow. For money. Woo! It's Woo! crazy. Move. Bong break. Oh man, that was honestly a good time. I've been having some great times with you. Clele le le. Clele le 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 le. Clele le le le. See? I've been having great times with you guys. Oh wow. Is that comfy? It's clala la la le 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 le. It's flala la la. It's clala la 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 le le le. It's flala la 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 la. La 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 Question of the comment of the week. Uh, comment of the week, week went to Liam the- Kennedy. Liam Kennedy, congratulations. You're now in the running. One in 39 chance of winning $1,000 and you're going to go on our board and be immortalized forever. Comment of the week went to Liam Kennedy. Liam Kennedy, you are now in the running. One in 39 chance to win $1,000 and your comment is going to go on the com- cow wall and be immortalized forever. Com- <laughs> your comment is, why isn't Matt Brown Brown? He is what? I'm starting to think he isn't really who he says he is. You, now, I reckon the best part of this sentence or whatever that thing is, a comment, 
is the double word on brown. Brown, yeah. brown. Brown, brown. Why? If you why can why double up brown and make sense of it, that's fucking cool. I'm isn't, starting to think brown isn't brown. Isn't back in the day, your last name was what your profession was? Like Baker and like fucking... Now, and what is, what is brown? What is do, uh, doing... And how dare your dad be called Greg? Brown is an brown. ideology. It's like you guys just want the most common names... At all times in your name. What's your middle name? What is it? You know what it is. Oh, yeah. It's like Greg. Mal- it's fucking Gregory. Oh. <laughs> You've laughed. Matt Greg your, Brown. Your you middle name like is you your scrambled. dad's name. You laughed at this like 10 episodes ago, you <laughs> fucking stoner. Wait, your <laughs> middle name is your father's name. <laughs> yeah. So your father's just given you his name, but put a real common other name at the front of it. <laughs> It's like <laughs> Matt Greg Brown. Yeah. It's so <laughs> Matt Greg what Brown. The fuck? You can't Matt do. Greg Brown. That's Matt three Greg separate Brown. things. They're three separate things. A Matt, a Greg, and a Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Holy yeah. shit, you've just given three weird first names. What's well what is your father's middle name? Surely it's not Matt. Greg Matt Brown. What is it? Do you know? <laughs> yeah. Tell what me. is it? Um David or something. Yeah, it, it is. It's no, like, it's no, not. It's not David, but it is like it's like John. John. Yeah, someone. Like what do you mean? Greg it's like John. John. Greg I'm John. Pretty sure. Brown. I'm trying to think what it is. I'm pretty sure it's John. It's not Greg John Brown. No, it's, Greg, <laughs> it's Gregory. That John. is better than Matt no, 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 no. Greg it's, Brown. No, it's Gregory John. Gregory John. Gregory John. <laughs> <laughs> it's Greg. His friends call him Greg. He's yeah. Greg John yeah, Brown. He, yeah, you're right. It is Greg. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Greg's Gregory It's Gregory That is a rare It should be a rare name Greg It should Well I think it's like For some slightly older people No one would now Name their baby Greg I don't know If you call your baby Greg now It 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 doesn't even sound like a name It sounds like It's like a noise It's like a You couldn't love that baby Greg Greg Sounds like someone's vomiting Imagine calling a baby Greg It sounds disgusting Mad dad Greg. Greg Imagine yelling at Greg Imagine having a three-year-old Greg, girl Greg? <laughs> called Greg. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that is, but that is some, that's some of the, that's shocking how bad those names are. <laughs> that, that is shit names. That is like a fucking, someone's taken the piss. Oh, what should we call Mine's so, from? so Matt lazy. Greg Brown. <laughs> we should <laughs> imagine having so Greg John Brown. <laughs> Shut up! That's not real. You need to say sorry for that shit. I reckon you have to say sorry about your dad and, you and your for one that. syllable names. No, imagine having my dad Greg Brown and Greg Smith next to each other. It's the two most common Gregs there could be. We need Smith to find out what fucking Greg Smith's middle name is. Let's call He's- him. <laughs> ask him. Just ask him what it is, and then hang up. Nah, well. We'll find out another time. Oh my! You can't excite me like that. No, we. You need to say sorry for your names. Yeah, I, I will when you start. Oh, I don't think coming up with good ideas. To say oh, his yeah. Middle name. On yeah, him. I'm a bit scared to say my dad's name. Oh right, so it's not John. It's like John. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's still fucking. All right, that's stupid. terrible. You can leave it a mystery for us, but that is still that's like, better you than should, your you name. Should be ashamed of yourself. Brown. I would consider like I have a fucks. What's name? your dad's name? I can't say. Oh fucking hell! I reveal everything. It's but like no, a I spell, like it. black magic or something. His dad's name. You shit on people's backs on the internet, and you can't you, say my your dad's fa- name. My father is German. You got your ears won't be able to pick it up. Only it would other cast Germans. bad energy, only and like you, some like things would start floating. In the only room. other Germans hear on that frequency that I say his name on. His name is a different frequency. So questions. Yeah, it, we, it would anyway, bring bad. Nice no, time for questions. We're fighting a lot today. We're bickering. Oh, no. We're just sort of saying that your name is shit. Yeah, your, your name is... It's no, There's no <laughs> argument here. Your name is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it really... It is. But it's okay. It's not okay. But yeah, let's just get it. through the questions. <laughs> okay. I'm sick of thinking about it. I'm seeing it on paper. It's disgusting. Should we have a meeting after? Yeah. Okay. Down, at the, down at the office where you get your names changed. I'll change my name too, okay? What would you change it to? Brown. <laughs> What would your I'll last name be? Brown. Brown Brown. Brown Brookhouse sounds nice. Brown Brookhouse. Michael Brown? 
Michael Brown. Anyway, right. questions. All right. Uh, top question went to Donut Films, who's been up there a few times in his career of commenting. Um, so Donut Films, his top question, it was... Yeah, Donut Films is always some very good questions. It's just on fire. His urine's on the table. Um, I think it... <laughs> I don't know if I've ever answered this, but his question is, what? what's the cringiest thing you've seen Julian do when he stands up in a nightclub and says... Um, Tonight's a, like the last night for the rest of our lives or whatever this is. Yeah, he does those. I like that. <laughs> I think it's it's strong. It's pleasant. Yeah, it makes me giggle. I don't know. It's hard. Um, um, oh, man, he's good at like rapping in the car. Like he brings out the most hectic raps. They're fucking sick. And one time he... um. He was like on a date with a chick and, and um, like he thought that she was really into him and he like lent in to kiss her and she like pulled away and said, oh, no, 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 I don't feel like that about you, Julian. And then she left and like they haven't been friends since. So that was pretty funny. And yeah, he has done fireworks before. Illegally. Yeah, he, he made his own illegal fireworks and set them off and like the neighbor's dogs woke up and shit. So that was pretty cringy too. <laughs> this question's gone to shit. <laughs> Next question is from James Kirk Patrick. Um, what hurt most out of a squash ball, a tennis ball, or a paintball? I'm going to say paintball. Actually, squash ball. <laughs> it depends. Paintball hurts every single time a lot. Squash ball hurts more sometimes if it hits you in the right spot and the other person has swung as hard as they can. Man, that bruise, that I one squash ball hit you on your belly. That I'll never. I swung as hard as I fucking could and hit it flush. Hmm. And he had a bruise the size of a pineapple on his belly button. It's strange. There were so many colors in it. Yeah, it was like the most pretty. It's probably the one of the greatest bruises to date. To he made like a full space. I think we have its top comment on the Facebook video of it. Sorry. Which is um, the scariest. Sorry. <laughs> Next question is from Anonymous. Um, what is the worst prank you've ever pulled on each other? The worst? The worst. The haircut for me. Yeah, it's, that turned out fine. Yeah, I guess. True. That was nothing kind. What about you? What's the worst prank these? Oh, and done the waste of Michael's money. Michael's done to me. I the fucking know. waste of fucking Lots piece of, of money. Yeah, I've wasted a lot of the money. That's so annoying. Yeah, like, that's what's the worst my one money. Michael's ever done to yeah, you? Yeah, I'm trying to think. What's the worst thing? You, you put hair removal thing in my hair once, but I don't mind being bald. It suits him. And one day I'll just have to accept it. I'm already on the cusp. You got long hair. Yeah, I wear wigs. Join baby. me, brother. Hobart. <laughs> Hobart. I gotta be shaven soon. Mm-hmm. Unless I do some surgery or mate, something. Mate, you're way you off surgery. Shaving. Yeah, you can get some of your back hair put into your head. Would you do that? You yeah, get I'm, a big I'm scar across out, the back though. Growing it out. Why don't you get that? I don't know. I just don't think it's a good idea. I've heard a lot of bald people who get it done say it's the worst. Like Joe Rogan got it done. And he, he said, said it's the worst thing he ever did. Why? Well, one, it left a big scar on the back of his head. And two, no, there's it, other ones where they just implant the fucking hair transplants. Yeah, that's what a hair transplant is. Tell us is. about they, it in the comments. A, yeah, they cut it on the work? back of your head and they put it on the top of your head. It, I think it works a little bit, but it's, I don't know. George honest. Clooney's done it. There's heaps of people. I've seen the ads. He knows it's a lie. <laughs> next question. <laughs> All right, next question. He's um, picking them better now. Uh, is from Broderick Morse. Uh, um, <clears throat> Michael, do you enjoy inflicting pain on Marty? I feel like he enjoys it when he inflicts it on you. Oh man, when you can tell Marty's in pain, I I do laugh. It just makes me laugh. We did a video today. What hurts the most? A slingshot. And there it's were funny. some painful things in there. Grapes yeah. are shocking. They linger. Painful. The pain Grapes. lingers. Yeah, it was like a squash ball on him. Uh, you know those little Chinese whispers that I throw at you. Mm. That it also burns hurts. Burns their skin. Uh, next question is from Dean Moore. Um, Michael, do you ever want any pets in your life besides the rat population? Yeah. No. Why not? Oh, actually, yes. Yeah. I want a cow, a sheep, a llama, <laughs> probably one of everything. What about like a dog or a cat? Yeah, one of everything. I've already got a cat. Cat's good. You would buy a dog. Nah, cat's better because you can, for now, you don't have to be with it all the time. You don't have to exercise cats, them. man. 
Yeah, I'm cat, not nah, that much of a gypsy's, cat person. Gypsy's good, dude. You'll Next like question. I've already met her. Yeah. Next question is from Gavin S. Capital S. Um, do you guys prefer eating or pain challenges? <sighs> um, that oh, it varies because usually we do the eating ones when our bodies need a break. So I like the eating ones more then. But during the eating ones, I think to myself, "Fuck, I'd rather a ball be <laughs> be struck at me." Mm. Would you date Gypsy? No. Who's Gypsy? My cat. Airy. Okay. Next question is from Marco Costello. I'm nailing the names today. Um, Marty, if you could get a successful heart transplant from anyone, dead or alive, whose would you take? Lance Armstrong. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Wait, who else is there? That's Stephen Hawking. That's it. That's the only one I can think of. The only person right now that I can think of. Stephen Hawking. Oh, yeah. Stephen Hawking's gone. I'll have his one too. Might make me smarter. Did you know that you can hear in your heart, Matt? You can hear in your heart? Yeah, they've got a new device that you can wear around your head. You hear your heartbeat. You hear your heartbeat. Cool. Do you want one? No. So we're getting them sent through for a brand deal. Because we're going to post the audio of our heart. guys are lying to me again. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> Got ya. You've yeah. just been bamboozled. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to lie in bed. Oh. Uh, next question from Hunter Hyde. Would you guys ever hunt each other in the wild for a vid? Yeah, yeah, the hunter and the elk is a video that we'll be filming soon for the website. We might even be able to do social media for that one. No, we won't because we'll have gel blasters and be shooting each other. Too dangerous. No, it's weapons and that will get deleted from Facebook. This will probably Would be you believe censored that? because of this. Would it's you believe going. that? That's, isn't that like fucking just calm down? It's just a gel blaster? Yeah, remember Sorry. when we got done for you shooting it out the car? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a big fat fine for that. I was shooting it out the car and everyone thought it was a real gun. Yeah, you yeah, did a drive by. All right, next question is from Richardson's Resident. Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> true, true story. Um, after, the chili incident, after the chili incident, can Meth Brown ever take part in the pain videos for our entertainment? Um, yeah, I probably would if I had time. You would do the, oh, imagine the squash ball on Matt. Oh, it's always so funny seeing people for the first time. In the center time. of his back. Oh, it it's, it's so like nice. um, there's a moment of panic where you're you like, don't, yeah, you don't where think, it's like, think I, I it. can't control. This is unbearable right now, and then it quickly fades to a bearable amount of pain. Just and then it lingers, and then it lingers. Trauma, deep trauma. Um, next question is from Yepse. German boy, I'm a little German boy, running around the streets. <laughs> <laughs> if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what is it? Cake. <laughs> no, that's a shit fucking question. No, We're not even doing no, that. Come on, let's play along. I with hate the game. It. Let's play along. That's shit. It was like the third highest. Michael's taking offense. Michael's taking offense to it. <laughs> He's okay. I'd have pizza. What you get fat and die? Okay, I'd have shit corn. Then you can just have one. I'd have. I'd probably have a meat because that you probably live Survive live longer. longest. Yeah. Um, I'd go. Let's go ribs. I'd have some ribs. What about if you couldn't? It was non-edible, but you had to eat it. Um, I'd go. Uh, I'd skull sand. I'd, I'd have uh, cardboard. Do you reckon you could skull sand? <laughs> <laughs> you should try it. Can you skull sand? You'd have to just commit. Oh, sorry. I'm sure if you had a glass of water there with you, you could do it. Would you do it. that, Matt? On man, we could have a sand sculling competition. Oh, imagine <laughs> builds up and you'd be just become big glass, yeah, have big sand shits, dry out and die. Anyway, hey. next question. Sorry. Peter Hunt asked one, one, one that I thought was pretty good. Sure, sure. He said, um, question for the podcast. Can James can James give a throwing tutorial? <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking good arm on him. Yeah, yeah, he has such a good arm. Great all round athlete. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um two questions left. Um next one is from Dante Sparta. Um, what's the one thing you hate the most about social media? The relentlessness of it. You've got to keep 
got to keep, keep making add, videos. Adding. got to keep going. Once you start this career, if you stop for too long, you are gone. So you have to just keep keep going through all the shit times, through all the hard times. you got to keep making videos and trying to make them better than they were the next week. You start from zero. Day one, every Monday after you post on Sunday, your life starts again. You have to either try and beat what you did or you have to try and get more views than the video you just paid, posted because it was shit. And now people are saying, oh, you guys aren't funny anymore. <laughs> we posted three or four shit videos in a row. And now it's like, okay, we got to pull out a banger right now. Well, it's we're proud to announce that we're doing Top Gun 3. <laughs> Oh, we are. They actually commissioned us and we're going to help oh. write the script for it. Would you do that with us, Matt? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> That's we, a we might be We might be launching our own line of weed products later this year, um, everybody. Isn't that exciting? And if you want to get high, that's for you, okay? We just got to make sure that they're amazing before we sell them. Yeah, we want to test them. We're going to test them Is out. Is that the end of the questions, Brown? Brown. Yeah, I thought that was a good ending. Yeah, the last fine. question was pretty average. All right, what do we? Do you want me to ask? Yeah. All right, let's do fucking <coughs> PO box, everybody. This is a segment where we open the things that you guys sent to our PO box live on the podcast. We get sent human remains. We get sent chilies. We get sent dangerous shit. It's crazy. You never know what's going to happen here, man. If you want to send us something, send it to PO box two five six taken four zero one eight Queensland Australia. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay. Hopefully that's not contagious. Well, maybe we could be together more if we do get sick. Yeah, that's true, cunt. It's good for you. If I get sick, I'll have a day off and I'll come spend it with you. What did you guys get? All right. I'm opening this box and inside is some sort of... Oh, careful. I don't like the way that's packed. Me? Yeah. Some sort of cloth clothing inside, and there's something in the clothing. I feel. Yeah, I feel like there's something in there. Could be wrong. It could be someone nice. Well, look, we're always so suspicious, but this is our fans. We should trust them more. You said, looking around at the jars of piss and teeth that they've oh, sent in. Oh, oh yes. A note in there. Oh wow. I have a oh. feeling that's going to be. Oh, it's underwear. Oh bullshit! Is yeah, it? with Julian's face. In the oh crush. wow, that's very good. I hold that one up. Yeah, oh, look at shit. this. We got. Thank you. Sorry, we sus were suspicious of that package. They're all pictures look, of Julian have, in the crust. We have sent underwear, yeah. like trunks, and there's a picture of Julian's face right where the dick um, goes. I'll read out the letter. Just be one second. Thank you very much, whoever sent that. That's great work. All right, wow. Marty and Michael. Here is a random gift that I randomly thought of. Did not turn out how I thought <laughs> fucking internet shopping, but still something. P.S. This was the only pic I could find of Julia um, on his Facebook. <laughs> Wear with pride. P.P.S. Make sure Matthew Brown gets one. Snoochie boochie. <laughs> That's from Dylan. Very good. That's very flattering. Thanks, Dylan. Oi, 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 oi. Oh. Everyone, oh. 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 Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, I don't know what's happening. I've lost control. Oi. Yeah, there is it. Hey, it's, it's, it's a good. start. They're back. It's a start. It's coming Egg. back. They're fucking back. Egg. Oh, wow. Fucking Matt Greg Brown. Greg. Now, we got one. The fart struck back. Uh, Haley has it. sent me a present. Thank you, Haley. She sent me headphones. Oh, wireless headphones, is it? Oh, no, no, on ear headphones. wired headphones. Oh, because maybe because Michael didn't have his. I don't like the look of the box. It looks like it's been ripped open. Did you no. rip it open already? I reckon they're legit. Haley's a legend. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. What the fuck? That's awesome. So this is what I was talking about before about people sending shit. This is the sort of stuff we want. Yeah. This is exciting. Something new. A little present. Well, we can actually use this. Do you know what I mean? What, what, so yeah. Oh, so is this like headphones for the here? Thank you, Haley. So now we have another set of headphones, Matt. Say thank you. Say thank you for, to Haley. Say thank you to Haley. She's also also female, Matt. Say thank you to, to Haley, Matt. No, that won't work on here. No, but they're still cool to have. It's a present. It's Ooh. nice. It's oh. better than boring shit. Yeah, happy like a letter's boring. That was fun. It was like an object. Although we love the letters too. We love everything you send in. No, no, I'm, I'm we, happy with the headphones. I just don't think it'll work on that. But we like the headphones. Thank the you. Headphones these are, are cool. At the very worst, we can pawn these off on the Facebook marketplace. And get like buy ourselves a foot long sub each. Oh yeah, there's one more. Right, thank you for that, um, Haley. Haley. Oh no way! 
What so is this it? This is what I'm talking about. This, good stuff. This is fucking great shit. Man. What'd you, you guys? Get? Everyone weed. Understands. Someone just sent weed. Thank you. Fucking hell. Thank you so much. It's a big fat nug. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. This is from the last that sent us cookies once. Oh, yes. Thank Those you so much. Cookies were so nice. Next- Mild and like fucking. Long breaks on us. Is, do you reckon that's bush weed? I don't know. The, the edibles felt like bushweed. It was good. Lovely. Good Love it. I played golf. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you to everyone we'll there. That PO box was outrageous. <laughs> All right, everyone. It's time for a prank call. Jessica, Jessica, how am I help you? Yeah, how you going, Jess? Um, well, I came in with um, my team yesterday. I think it was yesterday, yeah. And um, we've well, done the garden around um, the front and the back, like just, um, you know, done pruning, a bit of watering and that. Um, and I sent the invoice through um, like yesterday, as soon as we finish uh, the job. And um, your boss, mate, said um, that you used to pay a lot this morning and that. Um, and I'm just calling to follow that up because um, I was, got no nothing money coming in to, uh, to my account yet. So I was just a bit like, um, yeah, like what, what's going on sort of thing, you know what I mean? No, so you did have plants and they've told you to come back because there's more? No, no, right. So I've done all the plants, right? Done the pruning and all that. And then I yeah. in- invoiced them for me work yesterday. Right? Yeah. And your uh, boss man said, um, yeah, I'll pay you first thing tomorrow morning. That's this morning. And it should have gone in, should have come through Savo, the payment. But she still hasn't come through yet. So I was just calling to see, look, um, what the go is there. Yeah, so unfortunately, I don't do any finance right, now at the front right, desk. Right. You'll need to call back during business hours. No worries. And someone from finance can help you. Well, look, surely um, you's got some authority, though, right? Like, surely you can transfer me um, just the money there. I'm sure, why don't you look on your computer and see, look... Um, how much invoice is in that and then you can just transfer me the money I don't I don't understand um, why it's got to be someone else I'll talk to do you know what I'm sort of saying there, yeah or? we have different departments right, and right, different right, departments right. deal with different yeah, things yeah, so no, that we don't no, deal I, with anything to do with right, the money yeah. down no, here no I understand right but I was got to you surely you's got to have some authority right maybe it's not usually but if some work comes in and says I've done work here like you's got to understand like like that's more life. Like I've got to go out. I've got to. I've got to get groceries. I've got to get fuel for the morning. I've got to get all me get all me tools clean. Right. That all costs like time and money. Right. So like, I was done the work, and you said you would pay me. Right. And now I'm getting shipped around from one person to the next person saying, "Oh, I don't do that. Oh, I don't do that." And it's just sort of like I'm like, man, come on, man. I just done the work, man. I done the work, and I'm not getting paid, but. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, unfortunately, so we don't have anything, so I can't do anything regarding your payment. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta, that is laughable, honestly. That is laughable. You look, I'll send more invoices. Yeah, so through. finance, finance does all that. So they do all the payments, everything for that. We do not do any of that. Finance, 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 but. Like, seriously, finance, finance. Because like, I've done call you at lunch, right? And the same thing happened. I just keep getting shook around, shook around, right? And now I'm sitting down with bloody Daz and just hearing me out, right? I'm just trying to get by. Yeah, so just trying to get by. When you called us last time, when did you call us? Would have been about 1 p.m. this afternoon, right? And you're all busy in that. Like, made me wait, like, maybe five, ten minutes on the phone. And then some lady saying, oh, yeah, just call back tonight, right? Just keep getting shook around, right? And uh, I've done the work. I pruned, I pruned all the leaves out the front, right? I bloody scooped all the little flies and that and scooped all the little black, black bag, right? And took it out the front. And I've done a bit of sweeping. Done sweep all the rubbish bags down, straighten my gardens and straighten them all and spread the bark out a little bit. And now there's a ten of us going to the road to Yeah, so I don't know why they said we'll call later tonight because they finish at five. Yeah, right, right. Look, look. So you probably, she probably meant before five. She, she might have, look, she might have said before five, but like, like I said, look, I'm sure that there's something you can do for me. Look, come on. I can't, only, I, sorry, sorry, I can't do anything regarging it. I don't have any you, permission. Can you at least say, like, check, lock like, if the money's been coming out of your account yet, and if it's on the I way tomorrow? I don't have access to any of our bank accounts. I don't have any access to the bank account. What about bank emails, details? but surely he's got emails. No, I I'll don't have in. access to those. I sent that in, right? I know you're trying to one-up me here and trying to get around but I 
I'm telling you right now, I'll be calling every day, right, until I was yeah, getting paid. That's right, $150, you call them. darling. Do you understand? I know that might not be in, in much to bloody rich receptionist or whatever, but for me, $150 goes a long way, right? That's half my grocery bill for me four kids and me missus for the week. Yeah. So, what email address did you email? Right. Oh, I can't remember. The admin one. There's some admin one. Yeah, on so we email. don't have access to that. Oh, man. We don't have it. It's all the, that's for our account. Right. Is there someone you can ask maybe, see, if if my invoice has been even seen? But do you know what I'm saying? Like, is that yeah, even I been seen? By, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have a, look at, have a look around. Have a look around the garden. Like, look how spotless that shit is. Do you see? Did you notice today? Look, like, fuck me. The garden's fucking looking speak and span, brother. That was me and my team, mate. That was me and Bowser and Tom. Yeah. Okay, so I can ask, but I have to ask tomorrow morning because that's when oh, the team comes no, no. in. No, I, I don't understand. have oh. anything tonight. No, I understand. All right. Now, I respect your strength and your honor. I'll give you honor and respect for that. That's the type of person I like to spend my time with. I find it appropriate. All right, so I'm going to tell you, look, look, right now you you got me, right? I'm going to go to bed tonight. No, I'm only like, you know, this kid's going to be starving, but I'll I'll back up, right? I'll back up into me corner, but tomorrow first thing, right? I've got to let you know I'm, I'm calling back, right? I'm I'm not going. Sure, yeah, call us back. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Like we we uh, Urban Sports is the name of me garden business, right? Urban Sports. So just check in the morning if you could if Urban Sports invoice has been uh, paid yet because hundred and fifty dollars, right? One hundred and fifty. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Right, cheers, darling. Look, I respect your uh, your stance, you're standing up strong and salt, not not letting move. I respect that. Right, I've got to let you know that that is up the top of my priority list when I'm talking to people. You understand? Yeah, I will. Okay, That's yeah. Great. That's great. You understand? It's love and honour and respect, and it's about time and pride. Do you get it? It's courage. It's courageous, yeah. and it's brave, and it's honorous. It's honorous figury. Yeah. Okay. No worries, darling. It was great to have a chat to you. Have bloody good night, and I'll speak to you in the morning, brother. Okay. Tum, tum, Bye. Tum, tum. See you, darling. <laughs> she's, she's going to ask her. Urban sports invoice has been received tomorrow. <laughs> That's the best thing we've ever done. Seriously, hands down the best thing that we've ever done. <laughs> 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 Open sport. <laughs> Cut that shit, Matt. Cut that. Come on, that is fucking amazing. <laughs> that is honestly the best thing we've ever done, ever. Ever? Yeah, that's it. That is fucking Amazing. <laughs> we seriously are the best. I fucking know it. I knew that we were. Even when we're sick, we're up there with the best. We nailed it. Don't that. forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's the only way we grow the platforms and promote us because of the things that come out of our mouths. So we rely on you, our beautiful fans. So please comment like and subscribe it's not hard and it really helps us and if you listen on spotify chuck us a little five star review it's easy as well take you literally five seconds you quickly grab your phone now and do it if you want anyway well wait before you go i have one thing Sorry. um uh-huh. uh big fans of the podcast um zoe barnes uh, it's her husband's birthday uh she's probably been by now but um by the time it comes out but lee happy birthday legend Big fans of our podcast. Well, happy birthday, Lee. Happiest of birthdays, my friend. There you go. We're, we're the best. The we're the best. 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 We're the motherfucking best. We're the best. We're the best. 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 Smells like milk. Okay. <laughs> Urban sports is his fucking business. And that was his slogan, what I just said then. <laughs> <laughs>